Kiora, Telofa, Manale, Bulla, and welcome to season 8, episode 53 of Breakfast Bites by TevovoSports.com. A wrap of Pacifica People's sports news on a sunny and bright Sunday morning, 25 February 2024. Coming to you with Tan Sabanisi from the 180th Meridian in the middle of the Blue Continent. In Rugby Union, results from Super Rugby Pacific opening round yesterday, Fiji Drua lost to the Blues 34-10 in Whangarei, the Highlanders beat uh, Moana Pacifica 35-21, and the Reds trash New South Wales Waratahs 40-22. In the SVNS Vancouver Sevens yesterday, Fijiana went down to USA 21-17, and uh, Fijiana lost to Australia 26-12. In the men's competition, the All Black Sevens went down to South Africa 21-12. Australia went down to Samoa 31-7. Fiji beat Spain 31-14. And Argentina just beat Canada 12-10. In the late games, uh, France thrashed Samoa 47. And Fiji beat Canada 22-12. Today at the SVNS Vancouver Sevens, Fijiana beat Japan 36-7 early this morning. And in the men's competition, the All Black Sevens versus Great Britain at uh, 8.43 a.m. Samoa versus USA at 9.27 a.m. Australia versus France at 9.49 a.m. And Fiji versus Argentina at 10.33 a.m. Followed by the knockout games. In Rugby League, the Melbourne Storm brushed Kalen Ponga and the Newcastle Knights aside 28-10 in sweltering conditions at Churchill Park in Lotoka, Fiji, yesterday afternoon. Fiji Mbati reps Tui Kamikamida for the Storm and the Saifiti Twins for Newcastle were local fan favourites. It was quite the comical moment in the 66th minute when Jacob Saifiti made a late hit on Melbourne's Tui Kamikamida, sparking a brief scuffle between the two sides. But when the referee wanted to penalise the Knights, Daniel Saifiti approached the referee as Jacob was swiftly taken off in a cheeky attempt to confuse the twins. The referee saw through the Knights' ploy, summoning Jacob from the bench to place him on report and send him to the sin bin. Oh, hang on, the old switcheroo, Fox League's Andrew Voss remarked. The brothers Saifiti. Oh, that's so clever. Newcastle, I'm standing and applauding. That's a beautiful piece of play. A brilliant piece of rugby league right there. And a rampaging Mikaele Ravalawa bursts through for a try to give the Dragons an early three tries to zero lead. Then Star Tigers recruit Justin Olam limped off with a hamstring injury and a bitter blow for the Tigers. The impressive Dragons dominated... Uh, the Woeful Tigers scoring six tries to three for a 34-18 win at Glen Willow Stadium in Mudgee. In Sportsbiz, Warner Brothers Discovery reported a US $103 million profit last year from its direct-to-consumer division, which includes its Max platform that uh, continues to elevate its college and pro sports content. The figure dramatically reversed the U.S. $1.6 billion loss in 2022. Such a financial milestone in streaming has yet to be reached by major competitors, Disney, Comcast, or Paramount. In football, the reign of the hugely unpopular Glazer family at Manchester United is finally over. But how much will really change at Old Trafford? British billionaire Sir Jim Ratcliffe had finally completed a part uh, takeover of the iconic club after a 15-month process, buying an initial 27.7% in a deal worth just under 647 million US dollars. That'll rise to 28.9% by the end of the year, with uh, Ratcliffe investing another 65 million US by 31 December. U.S. $300 million of the cash has been dedicated to go towards stadium upgrades. Good riddance to the glaciers. And that's a wrap. For TableVoSports.com, I'm Colin Kamir. Please hit the uh, like and subscribe buttons below if you want to receive more Pacifica Sports highlights on Breakfast Bites. Mahalo, kakite, and thank you all too much. 
for all your love and support.